beach. Hello. Oh, we're at the beach. Oh, let's get some sun. Oh, green. Mm -hmm. Oh, sun green. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Will you put it on me? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So today we are packing, getting ready. We have two weeks left. Not even. Not even two weeks left until we move to our new house. So we it's crunch time. So this is our current situation. Let me turn it around. Hold on, baby. Alright, so this is Nora's room. Um, we have to pack up all this stuff. Um, her closet. Oh, sorry, baby. This is <clears throat> her closet. And once we, once we pack everything. Okay, I'm coming. Just a second. Okay. Once we pack everything, we have to do like little minor repairs. Like for instance, this light that never got fixed. So it's just literally hanging from the ceiling. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just little things like that, you know. So it's kind of stressful. It's like don't want to run out of time. So I'm trying to get everything packed up as fast as I can in boxes. That way we can, you know, then we can focus on um, repairing the holes in the wall and like the light fixture and things like that. I mean, not hole in a wall, but hole in the wall, but like little, you know, nail holes that we got to replace. So this is the linen closet. I have most of it packed up. It was full of blankets and towels and everything. So this is our room. It is a complete disaster. But we gotta get all this in boxes. But it's kind of like, I'm kind of, okay, hold on, hold on, just one second. It's kind of fun packing in a way because, like, I don't know if you would say fun, but in a way because you know that you're going to get everything organized. Um, <clears throat> you know, you have a chance to, like, thoroughly, I can't see, um, thoroughly organize and, you know, um, get everything together and like you want it. And we're going to have so much more space. I'm so excited. So... This is our closet. We got to get all this packed up. All of Joseph's shoes. Um, his clothes. But yeah, I'm excited. So today is Saturday. <clears throat> we have until the 2nd. So we're moving on the 2nd. So I'm just trying to pack. My face is all broken out from, um, I guess, stress. I don't know, but it's like zits all over even. And I make the mistake of taking out my zits. And then it looks like a freaking fever blister when it's not. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a zit. I have them like all over. But um, me. anyways, so we're excited. Are you excited for the new house? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> really chilling <laughs> in the book. <laughs> Go away. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. You want me to pack you up in a box? Nora? What are you so excited about? Say hey. It's recording. Say hey. Are you okay? Oh, you want to record me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me turn it around. Alright. See, I'm still not, I still don't know how to turn this thing around. Yeah. So, Ari and Nora are hanging out. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can. But, so what I'm doing with the boxes is trying to make the most out of the space out of each box and anything like that you know is cloth like linens or anything blankets clothes pillows I'm putting in a bag kind of like seal it and then I just put some bo some books in here to kind of level out the weight this stuffed animals just filled that I'm gonna fill it to the brim um, this is, oh, I just sealed this one up, but this one's books. And then I put some stuffed animals on top so it wouldn't be so heavy. This little hamper I'm going to use to put her clothes in. That way they'll be in here because I'm finding about these boxes, you know. 
um, you just never know. So, just in case, I like to keep them sealed. Oh, and I did not put these in a bag, though. But, I think it'll be alright. But, I'm getting there. And what we're doing is, we're just picking, like, a station, a place in the house to start putting boxes. Because it's really cluttered. So, I'm just going to stack them up here. Stack them up wherever you can. I'm going to put this in a box. And then, down here, we have this location right there that we're putting boxes we can stack them all the way however high we need so we're getting there okay another tip get you some of this you can get it well we use you used to could get it from the daily reflector or the um newspaper company and this one was one that my mom had thank god and it's really good for breakable things and just wrap it up and that way it won't break so Joseph twisted his ankle um, the other day walking Paris so he actually is in pretty bad shape we're hoping that it'll go away in a few days though um, because the move is coming up and um, so hopefully it won't be too bad but he slipped on the um, like out walking Paris on the hill when it was raining and the mud, it was muddy and he slipped and twisted his ankle so hopefully it won't be too bad um, and hopefully he'll recover before the move so he is trying to stay off of it um, as much as possible but yeah so hopefully he'll feel better um, with his ankle a little update too for um, so we took Nora to the doctor the other day and um it was really pitiful she had to get catheterized but um come to find out she does not have any infection thank god so it was just um well anyways without going into too much detail all we have to do are basically is basically give her sits baths and um that she's fine so no uti thank god because i was worried about her having another UTI but thank god she does not so she's good with that and she actually just fell asleep in Ari's room she was in there playing with her or they were cuddling and she fell asleep So, I've been working on this for like two or three hours, but another thing I was going to say is you can use your tubs. They say to use your tubs to pack your stuff up because you're going to have to carry them anyway, so you might as well, you know, fill them up and then put them, place them inside the box. Um, just did that. I'm going to, now I'm going to wipe that down, so... I'm wiping everything down before, you know, I put it in the box. That way, when we get there and pull it out, it won't be dusty and dirty. No one wants that. So, dusting everything off. Then I think I'm going to take the curtains down. Just things like that that I can go ahead and do because it's going to be here before we know it. And I do not want to run out of time. Then we have to replace the little holes. We have to do the spackle. The holes the little holes in the wall and um just little things like our drains are stopped up so i want to unstop those um 
and just like a lot of cleaning so we definitely have enough to do to where I don't want to have to worry about packing so I want to go ahead and get everything packed I'm gonna get keep going I'm in my zone I'm just gonna keep going until I can't go anymore yay I love being productive another tip get some boxes from rack room so that was my mom's idea and they are like the perfect size boxes so as you see they're not too big not too small and you obviously want to put plenty I put like two or three things of tape across here and then depending on how heavy your stuff is you might want to do one across there but I went to rack room and they gave me a ton of boxes this size which they're pretty perfect so rack room or somewhere like that where you can get a ton of boxes and you just have to pull up call let them know you're coming ahead of time and you can just get all the boxes you need tape gun be your best friend then of course you want to label it with a sharpie um so I'm just thinking of things as I go along, you know, things that might, may or may not be helpful for someone. Ooh, I'm out of breath. I just came up the stairs. But another thing I'm doing is, like these pictures, I am wiping them off. Just wiping them down with just regular wipes so they won't be dusty in the new house. But I'm excited about having more space on the walls so that we can put all these cute pictures up. These are pictures that Ari actually painted a long time ago, and so I'm going to put them, they're really special, so I'm going to put them on Nora's wall. This says, in the many colors of life, you can still grow. I love that. And she just did some more that are in here. Um, where'd they go? Like, she did this one. Right there. If you turn it around, it says love. But she did a lot of pretty paintings. So I'm going to just wipe these all down before I put them in the boxes. And I went ahead and put the, the stuffed animals in the bag. There's Olaf. And um, fact is that Nora is using the potty. So I'm so excited and proud of her for mastering potty training because she had mastered it before but then I guess she got lazy and just stopped wanting to pee and she's been pooping in there but then when she like she just was lazy you know she just didn't want to she stopped wanting to go to the potty but thanks to my mom she has helped me um get her back on it and now she's peeing and pooping on the potty so I'm so proud of her so soon hopefully we will be able to get her in to big girl panties and set up a pull up so yeah, I'm really proud of her for that. So we made a lot of progress with that. So she is doing great. And Ari, okay, so Ari, um, yesterday at school, she got sick. And it was something that she ate. She ate like a bad combination of food for lunch, like apples and, um, what do you call it, hummus. And so she got sick and threw up, right? And then she felt much better. But the school is making her get a COVID test now before she can return to school. So... I made an appointment for her tomorrow. We gotta take her tomorrow to get her COVID test. And then she's got pictures on Monday, so we gotta figure out how that's gonna work. Cause now they're not gonna let her come back. Um, until, you know, she has a negative, which she doesn't have COVID. She doesn't have any literally like no symptoms. She just her stomach just got irritated. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that's what we're dealing with. It's always something. But it'll be alright. So we're just gonna get her test, then um she can go back to school and yeah, so Anyways, we're going to have a good Saturday. Nora just woke up, so I'm gonna, and I'm getting hungry. So I'm about to take a break. Plus, my back is really starting to hurt me. So, I'm gonna take a break, but I feel good about what I've done today. I love being productive and making a big dent in it, you know, before I relax. So, anyways, hope you have a good Saturday and rest of your weekend. Now, you can record me. It's good. Yeah. Tea. Can you see me? Oh, yeah, turn around. You see me? Mm. <laughs> I see you anyway. Can you take 